sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross out your eyes. Casting live from Minneapolis on Shade 45. 30 minutes into the hour of the broadcast of live from Fifth Element. And, and, and we're getting prepared for this sound set concert have to be. I mean, if I, you know, Glam is going to be performing this year on the sound set stage. Right. That's great. You know, uh, Sean Anonymous will be there. Manifesto. Uh, Freeze with DJ Willie Shoes going to be there. DJ Eclipse. Dim, uh, let me see. Vince Staples. Freddie Gibbs. Mad Lib will be there. DJ Babu. Uh, let me see. Hobson is going to be there. Jazzy J will be there. Dessa. Abilities, um, Vic Mensa, Brother Ali, Underachievers, Yellow Wolf, Logic, Ludacris, Big Sean, Ice Cube, J. Cole, Atmosphere. I mean, everybody's going to be there. Now, two of the names that um, that that are also going to be gracing that stage, Kelly's yelling at people right now. Like a boss. Wait, 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 fifth element, make some noise. Yeah. Hey, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, make some noise. Yeah. Yo, Heather, this is crazy right now, man. I'm it's hearing like Simon it. Says. Um, um, and then two of the artists are going to grace the stage. One was here last year, um, and he made his big introduction to us. And, and since then, he's been on tour with, with Atmosphere. He's been on tour with Pro Era. The one and only Dim Atlas is here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. And uh, this, this, this other artist who's down with Doomtree has been around for, for five to ten years. Well, ten years now, okay? A real ten, too. Uh, a MC singer, uh, been carving her own path. The one and only Dessa is here, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, Dessa? Dessa, here. Hey, put your headphones on, Dessa. Tracy G was, Tracy G was speaking to you real quick. Can you hear her? Dessa. Hey, how's it going? Just saying, what up? Hey. Okay, now Dessa, uh, I was reading up on you, and I, I saw you. You got a BA in philosophy, right? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Okay. What What does that mean exactly? Street cred. Street cred, right? No. Uh, no, that's <laughs> put you on the map, right there. That's, that's, that's hood certified. <laughs> All right. You need a lot of philosophy to live in the hood, right? That's. Uh, what, 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 why? For real, for real, why philosophy? I swear to you on everything I love. Why philosophy? Okay. I thought you know you you're born into one body in one time in one city one part of the planet, uh-huh. and I feel like philosophy is the study of what it would have been like had you been born in another body, in another part of the planet, you know, richer or poorer. Uh And and I like that. I like the idea that, like, widening my portal into the human experience, not just my own as a woman in Minneapolis in this particular year. Yeah. Now, Tracy, uh, Mm -hmm. how how well do you identify with what Dessa just said? Oh, Oh, absolutely. absolutely. It sounds like she's really really empathetic. empathetic. It sounds like she has a lot of self-awareness. I'm curious to know as, because a lot of times, when you start thinking outside your own world, it's someone who sparks that thought, you know what I mean? Mm. Or maybe a particular book or a documentary. So what did it for you? Oh, man. Probably, like, a combination of, like, trying to understand, even as a kid, like, trying to understand the dudes, you know, the guys mm-hmm. in my elementary class. Like, we, I wasn't, I wasn't a big, like, I wasn't in rap ciphers as a kid, but I was in capping contests. Okay. You know, those those right. lunchtime. Yeah. yeah. I don't them. even think that's a word anymore. Like, yeah, yeah. is it? Do people that's say a, capping contest anymore? I've never heard no, of that. No, totally. Yeah. 100% blank faces except for one homie who knows exactly <laughs> where I'm coming from right now. Explain what that is, though. What capping you is. You face off uh-huh. during lunch hour yeah. with a dude and you'd sit across a table and you'd insult one another on some, you know, silly stuff like your mama. So that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh. And you'd go back and forth, back and forth until one person was out. And then the last guy to have insulted was like the hero, you know, until the next capping contest. And it was close to a rap battle without artistry or love. <laughs> it was it was serious, you know. I, when you talk about getting booed, I remember the first time I lost to Jerome and like try to keep my <laughs> lips straight, you know, and like crying in the bathroom later. Like, I got to get my insult game up. That yeah, fucking Jerome. Yeah, I hate that kid. Yeah. Jerome, so in house. Jerome, Jerome in the house. Jerome in the house. Right? Yeah. Uh, so... How, how did you go from that into mm. being a full-time artist? Yeah, I think, you know, I knew I liked philosophy a lot, but there aren't a lot of, like, inroads into professional philosophizing. You know, nobody has a business card that says, like, philosopher on it, unless mm-hmm. you do the whole Ph.D. thing. And that, that wasn't my course. So yeah. for me, it feels like you do get to do a lot of philosophy as an artist and, and maybe particularly as an MC, you mm-hmm. know, where you get to share a lot of life experience, mm-hmm. make some guesses on what that might mean in a larger way and listen to other people's stories too. So 
as far as I'm concerned, this is a job where I'm using my degree. Do you, do you have a, a life philosophy that you follow, or, or does it, is it ever changing? Uh, I think I th- uh, an instructor told me once, because I, I was real snappy. Like, I, I carried on that cap contest uh-huh. mentality <laughs> into college. Way, you know, way too far, right? You went to, <laughs> I, I took you it too far. took it too far? I took it too far. <laughs> right. And I was always, like, real quick when we, were, when we were dissecting an argument in class. I wanted to be the person who stood up and was like, I see the logical flaw. I'm the one who can tear this down. And she just took me into her office, and she was like, "You're good at philosophy. Um, you should be, you should be charitable too." And I remember thinking I could be a lot more charitable in almost everything I do. Like yeah. I'm, I'm quick to talk, mm-hmm. I'm quick to try to look for flaws, and and that admonishment meant a lot to me. Are you single? Hmm. I am. Okay. <laughs> Why the long pause? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying I mean, to. I'm, I'm saying you, you know you you you, uh, you said you quick to uh, right. You oh, are you <laughs> saying like I run my mouth? Is that why I'm single? Yeah, oh my I'm god, I'm gonna headbutt you. <laughs> I'm gonna headbutt you. This is ridiculous right now. Really, it is what? It's 9:35 like, I mean, in the morning. You, 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 are you, you serious? Like you quick to point out flaws. You know, I thought maybe that might be hard to you know. Unbelievable. Be in, be in, be okay, in okay, <laughs> okay. We're gonna take it there. Yeah, I'll say probably like. I got high standards. You got yeah. high standards. Yeah. yeah, for myself and for others. Yeah. yeah, I was single for a long time for the same reason. I really? That. Yeah, yeah okay. man. I, I point out flaws too. Okay. Um, Dessa, man, get up for <laughs> Dessa. This is too fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, the the last project is all hands. Is, is that your last project? Doom Tree, yeah. Recently yeah. dropped a the record called All, all Hands. Hands. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. And so what's what's going on? What's next for you? Well, I came back from a from my first headliner in Europe and in South Africa maybe three days ago. Damn shit! What was that like? You know what? It was a fucking trip. Yeah. Like yeah. I mean, I on one hand it was so exciting, you know, to to take my stuff for the first time as a headliner artist, all these new places. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, there was some seriously like genuinely demoralizing moments i got bed bugs in paris wow went on to milan ate a bite of something my the right side of my face swelled up so i go to the doctor and i say listen i don't care if you can give me meds i just have to figure out how to get an eye patch for tonight's show because this is too distracting and he was like i don't have a cool looking eye patch and i said i need something black i can't have like a white one where it looks really medical because people are gonna that's not gonna work Yeah. Yeah, yeah so i was like i need like a pirate eye patch and he was like well you've got two options you can go to like a costume shop for children i was uh-huh. like okay that sounds like a promising one <laughs> was like, or you can go to like a sex shop uh-huh. so now i'm trying to find a sex shop to get an eye patch before my show in milan and i look like who would who would want to have sex with this person i'm covered in bed bug bites like the right side of my face is completely swollen yeah. and i'm essentially rapping in my pajamas in milan the fashion capital of the world but j- look, you, it's your first headline and tour. That that deserves a round of applause. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. Sway, I just remembered something. Go ahead, Tracy. I remember hearing, Dustin, I want to hear your philosophical theory on this. Um, because in working with Doomtree, um, there was something about you being in a relationship with POS, but then it didn't work out, but you guys were still able to work together. And it made yeah. me think about, like, No Doubt with Gwen Stefani and all the records she made when she was you know, getting over her breakup yeah. with um, one of the dudes there. Just how did all of that work? Was it hard? Was it difficult to balance? Gavin. Uh, no. What, what, what was her? What was the name of her bass player? I don't know. Gavin. Gavin? No, oh, that's no, who no, she's no, married to no, currently. No, no, no. The guy. Um, uh, wait a minute. This poor know. dude, right? This is how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> he just, just went just down as the dude. Tony. 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 His name's Tony. 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 His name yeah, Tony. Tony. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Tony. I'll say, I'll say that the honest answer is that was probably like being able to work with and to reconcile and to stay close with and to stay friends with Steph is the hardest thing and the proudest thing I've I've done probably as a rapper and maybe as a person. Hmm. Wow. Any more questions, Tracy? No. No, but I have a question though, <laughs> no, yeah, Sway. This is, this is not what I anticipated. No, well, I have a question. Uh, Dessa, what's up? It's Heather. How you doing? Hey. Uh, I'm, we hearing that it's your birthday tomorrow. I'm really only interested oh, in what oh, you're hey. drinking. And what I'm drinking, all of it. Uh, I'm a big sucker for amaretto, and I like whiskey a lot. And there is a drink that you can't have too many of called the Godfather that is amaretto and whiskey Whiskey's on ice, ice. And I will be putting yep. a couple of them out of their misery tomorrow. Happy, <laughs> happy early birthday. Celebrate in style, girl. Yeah, That's all I, I want to say. And, and, and good luck on that stage, that sound set, too. Thank you. All, all right. Give it up for Dessa, y'all. Yeah. Like we got to know you really well thoroughly in four minutes. <laughs> Damn. Shit. Um, Dim Atlas, what up, man? 
What's going on, Sway? How you been, bro? Give it up for this guy right here. He was here last year. So, man, since we talked last, a lot has happened for you, right? Oh, uh, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff. You know, uh, been going on tour a lot with Prof and Atmosphere, and yeah. yes, I've been keeping my drawers clean. Yeah, you've been keeping your drawers <laughs> clean. I've been keeping my drawers clean. Okay, wow. cool. that's important, man. Last year, you that, had... <laughs> what happened to your drawers last year? You had no, stains. <laughs> This cat asked me about my drawers last year, and he's like, he's, it just came out of the blue. He's like, have you been washing your drawers? I was like, <laughs> why, yes, I have been well, washing my drawers. Listen, well, listen, man, let, let's, let's just tell the truth. That's a, you could probably chime in on this. When you're on tour, you don't, you don't always have a wash machine there. You know, and yeah. and, and if you you're trying to be frugal, you can't buy underwear every t- tour stop you go. So <laughs> you might go a day or something when you don't wash something, right? Mm. Yeah, it's, hey, Jesse, it's, you want to come in? It's true. Flip them inside out. There, there it is, <laughs> right? So, so <laughs> <laughs> Doug style. All right. So, uh, but enough with your draws. Um, yeah, yeah. Did you go out with Pro Era too? Yeah, man. Um, we did like I think three shows. Uh, it was all Midwest. Uh, There's a hometown show. At uh, in Minneapolis and also one in o- Omaha, Nebraska. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, those cats were really cool. Those were, those were some really cool cats. What you what you learn from that? Because a lot of times, I'm sure you open it up for people. They're not they're not they don't know you. you yeah, know? they don't know your music exactly. And, and how you navigate through that <laughs> as an artist? Like, like is it always is it ever awkward for you initially? You know, it. I don't even like that word awkward. Okay. You know, I. Is it uncomfortable for you? No, nah, it's not like uncomfortable. You know, the nerves the the nerves never go away, you know. It, it it don't matter if it's my own show or if it's like I'm opening, you know. It, it, the nerves never go away and it's not it's not that uh it's awkward. It's just that I just try to I just know that they don't know me and I'm just trying to put on a good show, you know. Okay. And that's all I care about. So I have so I actually like the fact that they don't know me, so I can I can really do some really weird freaky shit. Mhm. You know, and still get away with it, but yeah. When you say weird, freaky, freaky stuff, like what? What kind of freaky shit? Do Some you Jim do? Morrison shit. <laughs> Some you biting bats heads. Off <laughs> right. Or, 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 oh, you know, just bringing a baseball bat on stage okay. and swinging it around. Okay. Really intimidating people. You yeah, know. You, you, you're intimidating. Dim Atlas is intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> with yeah. That, with that with dirty smile, inside you out drawers. <laughs> <laughs> dirty drawers. <laughs> that's what's keep, that's what's intimidating. Um, <laughs> you you you, you, had, you had a chance to uh, go into Baltimore too, right? That's right. Yeah, and then That's you, right. you, you, you it just so happened you released a song at that time too called, called Disorder. Disorder, and uh, what was the reaction uh, to uh, to that? Well, talk about that song, Disorder. Yeah, first. man. Um, so I actually recorded that song over this exile beat called Rake, and um, it was months ago, you know, months months before the Freddie Gray thing, and. Uh, I just remember thinking in all of all this, when I walk down the street, I just see a lot of disenfranchisement in people's eyes. Nobody really looks, nobody really looks at anybody in the eye, and I'm just, I'm just saying these words. And uh, the track kind of, kind of came about about my feelings of being an American, being black in America, and and just the current climate today. And it's just, you know, help things like healthcare, police brutality, and and all of that jazz. And uh, I'm like, happy here, happy here, everybody, everybody, happy here, yeah, we happy here, you know, and, uh, and that's just how I felt, mm-hmm. and we released that while I was on tour, mm-hmm. I just got back from the tour, fortunate tour. Yeah, the fortunate yeah. tour, uh, well, look, man, we're going to play that, and then also, I was hoping you guys, when we do this cypher, you guys can hang out and, and help kick off the cypher. Hell yeah, yeah. I'll be honored. Dessa, you cool with that too? I got sound set rehearsals in 25 minutes. That's some bullshit, Dessa. <laughs> this, is, this is sound set. What are you talking about? Is there anything you could do for us now, then, before you go? There we go. That's that's what Do you want to take the headphones, too? Not really. Oh, oh shit. Okay, my bad. Oh. All right. All right, stand, here, stand up. Matter of fact. Matter of fact, go front and center. Oh, All right, yeah. Come on, Dessa. Come on, Dessa. Give it up for Dessa, y'all. All right. And then we're going to go into some music. 888-742-3345. You can take that mic right there. All right. 
Night falls, we all want to hear that fight song. Call running like a nylon, bright song. Time's right, but the clock's wrong. Never said it, never said it, and the time's on. Take what I need with me. Pray for rain, for brace, for whiskey. Something in the tank, money in the bank, calling it a win. We give a little back, give a little thanks. Busy with the grand plan. One last look, you left the bandwagon for a band book. To break out, you got to give up the chase. To make love, you got to take off the brace. And we all leave it feeling half done. Best you can do is just put a hand up. Hope grace and good works in the end add up. Find out when the pendulum hangs plump. There it is, Jessa. All right. That's what's up. Thank you. Thank you. Dessa Darling on, on Twitter. Make sure y'all follow her. And then Dim Atlas going to join us with the Cypher uh, in a little bit. Uh, and we're going to go back to some music. We got more guests that's going to be joining us right here on Sway in the Morning, Shade 4-5. It's Sway in the Morning. Holy. On Shade 45.